I will praise the Lord as long as I live, singing praises to God while I exist. There is just no day like this in Israel. This is Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. It's a day when the citizens of modern Israel stop to reflect and repent and find assurance of the forgiveness of sin. It's a special day in the Old Testament, a day in which the Lord said to his people, I want you to know that your sins are forgiven. The assurance of forgiveness was given through a very special ritual. There was a tabernacle or temple uh, which had a very special room, the most holy place. Uh, the high priest was the only one allowed into that room and he was only allowed into that room one time each year, the Day of Atonement. The box that resided in that room was the Ark of the Covenant. Within the Ark of the Covenant is the law. He entered that most holy place with blood and he placed that blood on the lid of the Ark of the Covenant. Here's the symbolism that's so powerful that brought the assurance of forgiveness. Without the blood, the Lord looks at the law and says, when I see sin, I must punish it. But with the blood in place, the Father looks through the blood before he can see the law and remembers that he has promised that punishment for sin will be diverted. And that's why we have a Day of Atonement too. It's called Good Friday. It's the day that our Lord Jesus hung on the cross so that when the Father looks through the law, he looks not just through animal's blood, but at the blood of Jesus. That's a very powerful image that assures me each and every one of my sins is forgiven. That is a day of atonement. My strength, my song, this cornerstone, this solid crown, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are stilled, when striving cease, my comforter, my all in all. Here in the love of Christ I stand In Christ alone Who took on flesh Fullness of God in helpless babe This gift of love and righteousness Gone by the ones he came to save Till on that cross as Jesus died The wrath of God was satisfied For every sin on him was laid Here in the death of Christ I live Light of the world by darkness slain, then bursting forth in glorious day. Up from the grave he rose again, and as he stands.
Why give thanks? All the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They fell on their faces in front of the throne and worshipped God, saying, Amen, praise, glory, wisdom, thanks, honor, power, and strength be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Revelation chapter 7, verses 11 to 12. It's our turn, family. Let's lift our, not just our hearts, but our voices today in thanks to the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, it's tough to follow these scriptures today, so I'm just going to join in and praise you as long as I live, singing praises to my God while I exist. Dear Heavenly Father, you are so wonderful, and I just want everybody to know it. One day that's going to be us around your throne saying, Amen, praise, glory, wisdom, thanks, honor, power, and strength be to our God forever and ever. Amen. My dear Heavenly Father, we don't want to go without break, you know, increasing our family. So we lift up those today in South Carolina, South Dakota, Sierra Leone, Singapore, Slovakia, Slovenia, Solomon Islands, Somalia, and South Africa. Dear Heavenly Father, you are so worthy to be praised and, and loved and adored, and I know we do, and we just want to... We desire our family to increase so that we are just like you described multitudes ten thousands upon ten thousands of every tribe and nation and tongue oh it's going to be a wonderful day lord until that day be with us and guide us that everything we think say and do would honor and please you that you would order our steps and the culture and days that we're living in and we'll be careful to give you the honor and glory and praise in your precious and holy son's name jesus amen to the director a song by the sons of korah the ruler over the nations clap your hands all you peoples shout to god with a loud cry of joy for the lord the most high is to be feared a great king over all the earth. He subdued people under us and nations under our feet. He chose our inheritance for us, even the pride of Jacob whom he loved. God has ascended on high with a shout. The Lord has ascended with the blast of a trumpet. Sing songs to God, sing songs. Sing songs to our king, sing songs. Indeed, God is king over all the earth. Sing a song of praise. God is king over the nations. God is seated on his holy throne. The nobles among the nations have joined the people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong to God. He is greatly exalted. Is there anybody happy that the blood of Jesus is able to protect you from anything that tries to come against you? There's nothing that has more power in the blood of Jesus. That's why tonight we lift our hands and we open our mouth and praise him. And we say, thank Jesus for the blood. Thank God for the blood. Come on, clap your hands and give God a praise in this place. Hallelujah. Come on, say it, YP. The blood of Jesus, the blood that Jesus is shed for me. Shed for me. It protects me from all. by the blood of Jesus.
it's my own 